Welcome to UC Berkeley. This is the Berkeley Earthquake Awareness Review, where we'll teach you how to keep yourself and others safe in the event of an earthquake. California is located on the North American and Pacific plates and is the second most seismically active state in the country. The Bay Area is home to two major faults, the Hayward Fault and the San Andreas Fault. The Hayward Fault is located along the Berkeley Hills behind campus and is expected to be the next major fault to go. There's actually a 62% chance in the next 30 years there will be a major earthquake in the Bay Area. You can see power lines are swaying. brought down a 50-foot section, the cantilever section of the Bay Bridge. Uh, we understand that there have been cars trapped. The traffic, of course, is completely stopped. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty frightening. So what is UC Berkeley doing to prepare for an earthquake? This is the Hearst Mining Building, near Evans Hall. It was recently retrofitted with the latest seismic technology, known as base isolation. This technology was invented here at Berkeley. It keeps the building and its patrons safe during an earthquake. It's one of many examples of how the university is keeping the campus safe. Crossroads DC has been fitted with strong supports to withstand severe shaking. The dorms have been retrofitted using these crossing beams that will help keep the building standing during an earthquake. Here are some tips on how to keep your room safe in case of an earthquake. Don't hang anything from the ceiling. Locate beds, desks, and tables away from the windows. Keep spaces under tables, desks, and counters clear so you can take shelter during an earthquake. Loose objects should be secured. Limit the amount of glass or other fragile items kept in the room because in the event of an earthquake, these items could easily fall and break. Heavy objects such as refrigerators, TVs, or stereos should be kept as close to the floor as possible. Keep a clear pathway to the door for easy evacuation. Distance yourself from any objects that can fall. In case of an earthquake, duck or drop down and seek shelter under a table, desk, bed, or other sturdy object. Hold on to your shelter and prepare to move with it during the earthquake. Stay in your position until the ground stops shaking. Stay inside to, be, to avoid being injured by falling glass, building parts, or other objects until you are sure it is safe to exit. After an earthquake, don't take the elevator, take the stairs. After an earthquake, exit the building and do not return until it has been inspected. If you are outside during an earthquake, get into the open. Stay away from buildings, power lines, trees, and other objects that may fall. Drop to the ground until the shaking stops. Be prepared for aftershocks which could be as serious as the original earthquake. Check yourself and others for injuries. Do not attempt to move seriously injured people unless they are in danger of further injury. If you know first aid, use it. In case of an earthquake, one thing you want to keep in your room is an earthquake safety kit. And here are a few of the things you want to include in it. First of all, a lot of water. You need at least one gallon of water per day per person. Here's a gallon. You want to have enough for at least three days, although in Hurricane Katrina they were stranded for up to five or six. So definitely make sure to keep a lot of water with you. Also non-perishable foods such as granola bars or canned soup. A flashlight and a radio, either with spare batteries or a hand crank such as this one. And a first aid kit in case you're injured. Also important is to have an emergency blanket around. Very lightweight, keeps you warm. Another thing, a Leatherman or any other utility knife. A 
a whistle on your keychain, something very lightweight, is good also to have because in case you're trapped, you can whistle for help. Water tablets can purify water in case the water system goes out. Also, you can use one tablespoon of bleach for, to purify one gallon of water. Lastly, it's important to have a lot of spare clothing around in case you or anyone else needs to stay warm during an earthquake or after an earthquake, especially for a few days. Now, you should really go out and buy these items because you don't want to be caught without them. This video was produced by the students in the Earthquake Freshman Seminar in Earth and Planetary Science. If you're interested in earthquakes, take a class in EPS. We hope you have a great time at UC Berkeley. And now that you know how to prepare for an earthquake, you will be ready for when the next big one hits. Go Bears! Retrofitted.